Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Michael with Remax Premier. I appreciate you tuning in to watch my video blog. Um, during this video, I'm gonna go over the numbers, the statistics. We're gonna do a very in-depth analysis of the June numbers that were recently reported by the Toronto Real Estate Board. And as well, I'm going to go over a summary because we're now halfway through 2019. We're gonna compare it to the first half of 2018. This first chart here displays on a month by month basis, the sales, the number of active listings, the months of inventory, the average price and the days on market. As we look at the sales, you can see it was trending up nicely up until May and we did experience a drop, which is common from May to June. There was a drop in sales by 11.3%. The number of active listings, very similar to May, there was only a decrease of 1.8%. There's 19,655 active listings currently. And the third number here, the months of inventory. This really gives us an idea as to how healthy of a market it is and really does tell us if it's a buyer's market or a seller's market. They say if the months of inventory is under four, then it is a seller's market. And we can get this number just by dividing the number of sales by active listings. So you can see it started off at three during the month of January and it was trending downwards. In May, it was at 2.0. And in June, the months of inventory was up by 10.7% at 2.2. So it's a small change, but you can see clearly there's 19,655 active listings and there were only 8,860 sales, which gives us that number. Um, the average price, you can see it hasn't increased too dramatically over the past few months, but it's a healthy increase. Um, in January, it was at 748,000 and June, 833,000. And the days on market has been very similar over the past few months, 33 days on the market in January. And now, recently at 21 days on the market. So all the signs of a very healthy market and a great market for sellers. Now this next chart here displays the changes during the month of June 2019 and looks at the sales in June 2018. It encompasses all of the 416 and the 905, so the whole greater Toronto area. So during the month of June 2019, we experienced 10.4% more sales than in June 2018. And during the month of June 2019, the average price was 3% higher than what it was in June 2018. This next graph over here shows the months of inventory. You can see here based on these three lines that we can just observe the fluctuations in 2017, 2018, and 2019. Of course, 2017 had the biggest fluctuation. As you can see there in April, the foreign tax was implemented and the months of inventory did obviously trend upwards and then was somewhat stable afterwards. And then 2018, somewhat stable, although you can see the months of inventory dropped a little bit in the spring and then came back up. And all the signs of a healthy market are showing up now based on the white line. We can see that the months of inventory, it came down a little bit and now it's uh, hovering between two and 2.2. This here shows the number of sales comparing the first half of 2019 to the first half of 2018. We can see that the number of sales during the first half of 2019 was 44,112 and in 2018, just slightly over 40,000. So that's an increase by 8.9%. And here we can analyze the micro market. So what's interesting is that in the 416, there were more sales for all home types except for condo apartments. In the 416, there were less condos that have sold during 2019. Again, that's January to June. However, this could just be because the amount of supply of condos in the 416 is just very, very low altogether. And then we look at the 905 and over here, we can see that there was an increase of sales for all home types. So detached, semi-detached townhouses and condo apartments, there have been more sales during 2019 than 2018. And this chart over here is a projection of 2019. So you can see that this really just does tell us what to expect as far as the number of transactions is concerned. Just through studying the patterns and trends over the years, usually there are more sales in the first half of the year. So last year there was 52% of the transactions between January to June. And then during the rest of the year, there were 48% of the transactions, which makes sense. Typically most of the sales do happen in the spring, late spring and early summer. And then we see the number of sales spike up during fall. So I hope all this information was helpful. Um, if you can think of anyone that can use my help, buying, selling, investing, even has questions, call me, call me, call me. My number is 416-671-5218. And if you think anyone else may benefit from this information, just forward the email over to them if you received it by email or copy and paste the link on YouTube. And if you just uh, happen to come across this video and you wanna see more and you wanna subscribe, then just visit my website, michaeldougal.com and click the subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you all next time.